today I'm taking a quick look at the Ontario Knife Company Shikra, a budget-friendly titanium frame lock flipper with micarta on the show side and an Oz 8 blade. The Shikra gets its name from the Shikra Hawk. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing the Shikra, or maybe there's something else in your wish list, be sure to check out my buddies over at whitemountainknives.com and use my promo code SHARPAF, one word, to get 10% off. They also have free shipping on all US orders. But this is actually a giveaway video. I wanted to thank you guys for helping me make it to 500 subscribers. So I'll be giving away this knife right here to one of you. It's completely free to enter the giveaway. It's open to all of my subscribers. All you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll randomly select one of you from the comments section. You need to be at least 18 years old, and full giveaway details and fine print are in the video description. I'll put the closing date there as well. If you're not the winner though, and you still want to pick up one of these knives, they're only about 45 bucks on White Mountain Knives. There's green micarta or natural canvas micarta, and they both have a black washed Oz 8 blade. So let's get into the specs. The blade length is about three and a quarter inches or 8.1 centimeters. The handle length is about four and a quarter inches or 10.7 centimeters. And the overall length is just under seven and a half inches or 18.8 centimeters. The blade thickness is about an eighth of an inch or 0.12 inches or three millimeters. And it weighs 2.4 ounces or 68 grams. It has a drop point style Oz 8 blade with a black wash finish and a Rockwell hardness of 55 to 57. Oz 8 is a budget steel, but on a $40 knife, it's acceptable for the price. And Oz 8 is pretty easy to sharpen. I've also seen spec sheets saying this is a spear point style blade. And I guess if you can get your eyes to not look at the swedge and just the overall shape of the blade, it's kind of spear pointy, but I don't think it's all the way symmetrical. So we'll say drop point. The linen micarta on the show side is perfectly okay. Not the best micarta I've ever felt, but it's just all right. Titanium on this side, it's a frame lock running on bearings. Centering is a little off to the right. And it deploys with a flipper. The flipper is a little below the pivot, so you can use the push button method for deployment or the light switch method. The detent is on the stronger side. You can fail it, but you have to try pretty hard to do that. But overall, great deployment, great detent, and good closing too. It's shake shutty. There's a lanyard hole, and the pocket clip is tip up, tip down, right side only. The clip is flush with the handle, but there's dome head screws. It's not quite deep carry. You can see the way they designed it. It's just below the screw. And if you switch it to tip down, it's gonna ride even a little bit higher. But here's what it looks like in your pocket. And it was very sharp right out of the box. It's a slicey blade with a thin tip. More of a slicer than a stabber and probably pretty good for delicate work also. There is some jimping here that works well, pretty grippy. I have large hands but skinny fingers and I can get a full four finger grip on the handle with room to spare. The handle on the Shikra is about a quarter inch longer than the popular OKC Rat 2, if you're familiar with that, and about the same as the full size Benchmade Bugout. So let's get into my likes and dislikes. I really like the price. 45 bucks for a titanium frame lock is pretty unheard of. And sometimes they go on sale for even less. Yeah, it has a budget steel, uh, but overall for the materials you're getting, it's a pretty good deal. And not only is it a budget knife, 
but Ontario Knife Company is a very reputable distributor. So you're really not taking too big of a gamble. You know, sometimes with lesser known budget brands, you don't always know what you're getting. It's super lightweight. It's only like half an ounce more than the bug out. So if you're looking for a lightweight EDC, this could definitely fit the bill. The action is great. Good detent on this one. I've heard some people say it's too strong, uh, but not on the one I have. I like the overall profile and design. And even though I normally prefer true deep carry knives, um, it does feel good in the pocket. And it looks good in your pocket too. And I was pleasantly surprised by how sharp the factory edge was. Okay, so dislikes. So first of all, the centering is off. Not enough really to affect anything or that I would necessarily bother messing with it. It's not quite touching the handle, but it's close. Um, and if you wanted to adjust it, or if you wanted to or needed to disassemble the knife, it's going to be a little bit tricky because it has a free spinning pivot. So kind of luck of the draw if there's a lot of Loctite, no Loctite, or depending on your skill, you might be able to get that screw loose, or maybe not. Overall though, I really like the Shikra. It's not the best titanium frame lock knife. Obviously, there's a lot of higher quality ones out there, but for a lot more money. And it's not the best budget knife either. There's a lot of great budget knives that overall might be a better buy depending on what you're looking for. But if you're looking for a lightweight, budget friendly titanium frame lock from a reputable company, this is absolutely one you should consider. And you probably won't find one for less. And I could definitely see this working its way into my personal EDC rotation. You guys know I'm always, at heart, a budget knife guy. And honestly, they're cheap enough. I'll probably pick up another one after I give this one away. Thank you guys so much for your support and helping me make it to 500 subscribers. If you missed this giveaway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I've got another one planned for when we hit 1,000 subs. Let me know what you guys think about the Ontario Knife Company Shikra in the comments. Stay tuned for some size comparisons, and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching.